Hello everyone. In this tutorial we'll learn about how to install Firebase for your iOS app. Firebase is a real-time database. Uh, in addition, we'll be learning how to install GeoFire, which is a library that allows you to do real-time location queries and store them in Firebase. So the first thing we'll do is create a new Xcode project. We'll create a single view application. We'll name it um, Locations App. And we'll create. Once we have our app, uh, our project loaded, we'll keep in mind this bundle identifier, which we'll need to use to register for Firebase. So if you go to firebase.google.com, <clears throat> you'll need to sign in with a Gmail account or a Google account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for one. And once you do sign in, you'll be brought to this page where you'll create a new project. We'll call this locations. So once the app is created, you'll be brought to this page where you can see that Firebase, you can perform analytics. Uh, there's an authentication section where you can store and manage your users. There's the database which stores your data in a, in a JSON tree. Uh, the storage where you have your files and images, uh, as well as hosting and testing and uh, notifications, which we're not going to be touching on in this tutorial. So let's add uh, Firebase to our iOS app. Uh, we'll find our iOS bundle ID, which is tutorialtech.locations. So tutorialtech.locations.s. And for the App Store ID, we'll just put anything for now. Um, we are going to download this Google service info.plist and drop it into our project. So mine gets downloaded to my desktop, and I just drag it in here. Uh, copy items if needed and finish. So that file, you can click on it and see that it stores all the settings for your Firebase database. And next, we need to create a pod file. So if you go to your terminal and navigate to where your project is Uh, and type pod in it, this will create a pod file for you. Now once you have your pod file, you can either edit it in any text editor or you can use uh, Vim, which I prefer. So this is an empty pod file. If we push I, it allows us to edit the file and type pod Firebase. Uh, we will also install Firebase authentication and Firebase database. Those are case sensitive and then push escape colon WQ to save. Once you've saved you type pod install <clears throat> and all of those modules will be installed for you. Now once all of these are installed we'll close our project and open up our workspace file. And once we do that, we'll be able to see all of our pods here. So you can see that Firebase and Firebase Authentication Database, the whole shebang is installed there. Um, the next bit that we're supposed to do is to add the initialization code. Uh, so we'll do that in Swift. We'll do this in your appdelegate.swift file. First thing we'll do is import Firebase, but my file, my um, program just needs to update and process the files to make sure that it knows that Firebase is there. So I'll just run it one time. So now that that's done, I should be able to import Firebase. Yep, and in my did finish launching with options function here, we then need to put fir app.configure and now Firebase is up and running. So to test that we really have this working well, we will, okay, we don't need to import Firebase authentication. We can just go down here and tap fir auth. 
auth.create user with email. So we'll create the user hello at gmail.com and our password will be hello456 ultra secure. And for our completion, we will get back a user and an error. And we'll just print to our console here the user has been created successfully. So now if we run this, we should be able to go back to our Firebase console and see that a user has been created. Uh, one last thing which I actually forgot to do was that we need to enable in our app we need to go to authentication sign-in method and we need to enable email and password sign-in. We can also enable sign-in with Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub or anonymous users. So let's try to run that again. And we can see a user has been created successfully. So let's go to our Firebase console here and reload this. And as we can see, our user has been created. So now that we have Firebase up and running successfully, um, let's add GeoFire to our project. So we'll go back to our terminal and we will edit our pod file. So one thing to take note of is that if you just type in pod geofire you'll get an earlier version of geofire which works with Firebase 2.7.5 so you need to add this extra bit to spec to tell um, the uh, the pod where to download from and then we will do our pod install. We can see it's downloading from that location that we told it to and it's downloading GeoFire 2. So now that that is installed, let's go back into our file and to our frameworks, we need to go to our Firebase database framework. And so when you, when you click on this in the right hand uh, inspector over here, the target membership, we need to click on GeoFire. And that's it. Now you have GeoFire installed. So we're going to run our file just so that it can build those libraries and then now let's see if GeoFire, there we go. So we have GeoFire there and that's it. In our next tutorial I'll be showing how to uh, store data to the Firebase database and how to work with GeoFire.